speak about taste, that means it made it to your mouth already. Please stop. Why do you need that many phones? I don't need that many phones. You told me to bring extra phones. Okay. It is called Wahid Fool, so they have to make a fool out of Wahid. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have a purple coffee cup with a rabbit on it? That was not my choice. Here of the rabbit. <laughs> Look at this guy. Does not even know. Guys, listen, man. This cameraman does not even know how to install. A camera on a on a car holder, boulder, uh, tripod, my pod. There you go. There you go, what? It's That's almost shot. tomorrow. Hey, there's no cup holder in this vehicle. There is. It's, what? It is. <laughs> it's all, all the way down there. You need a flashlight? <laughs> Did he just use a flashlight so we can find a cup holder? Why? <laughs> Do you intend on moving today? <laughs> yeah, look how long we've been sitting in the car. You used up all my storage already. We haven't even left the parking lot. <laughs> it's so it begins. Yes, yeah, we're about to finish. Yeah? We started from before I arrived. <laughs> I was thinking, dreaming about it day and night. Allah, it's been akhi, subhanallah. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. I, I had to like pinch myself on the on the flight to make sure that I'm going to Malaysia like back in the day. I don't even remember how long the flight, I was surprised that the flight is that long. That's how long it's been, I forgot. Listen, uh, you're hungry. Yeah. Did you eat bread? Listen man, we haven't had breakfast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in like two years. You haven't had breakfast was since fashion? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I think you'll like it. If you no, it it's not about liking it. It's, 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 I'm getting two boiled eggs and this. Yes. And what is all this? Since the last time I met you, Alhamdulillah, I've actually improved a lot my diet. You your, your Instagram stories definitely verify the statement. <laughs> I don't know, are you guys follow on Instagram? Do you follow on Instagram? What I make for others, I don't read it myself. You know. I'm but, supposed yeah. to believe that when she makes cinnamon rolls and they sell them, you don't take two or three on the side for you. <laughs> It's called quality assurance. Something yes. that Samsung can actually. <laughs> Something that Samsung has mastered, by the way. Come on. As I am Samsung's quality assurance yeah. live in person. I've been using Samsung since the day I remember. Samsung, uh, if given the chance, would declare its innocence from a customer like you. The first person I asked with regards to Samsung was you. Yes, sir. Now I'm fully Samsung. Look at this. The watch. Mashallah. I got the tablet in the bag. Mashallah. I got my phones. But I do have a bone to pick with Samsung, you know? Well, well I mean, okay, tfaddal, adi. What, which device do you, which, which Samsung do you have? Go straight, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. I've never been with a person who knows wh wh how he came and how he's going back. <laughs> it's always this like, let's figure it out on as we go along. Ya Rabbi, we will make it. Al <laughs> Muham, tfaddal, hey, which device do you have? You don't want to embarrass have, yourself? I have the A, la, proudly. My wife bought me this phone. I am a person of utility. If it doesn't work, I just I call a spade a spade. Okay, so like I can't, I can't. I mean, just being very honest, I can't afford the S class. Like if I could have afforded, I would have bought an Apple product. Huh? If I could. It was at this moment that he knew. You could, wait, 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 wait. Let me if stop. you could, no, no, wait. Listen, listen, no, I, 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 don't be scared. An iPhone is a premium imprisonment. I see Apple as a slavery. But it's a beautiful prison. It's a beautiful, okay, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. It is a beautiful prison. So if you're the type of person, if you're the type of person who they told you, look man, instead of this freedom, we're gonna put you in a you know, two by two uh, room with, with gold walls and, and gold chandeliers and uh, you know big screen uh, uh, TV so you can watch Islamic lectures or whatever and you're like yeah I'm good to go yeah. then Apple is a product for you. Yeah, go live in that prison Habibi while we are playing football outside and basketball and flying <laughs> over buildings and mountains and living life. What does the iPhone 14 offer versus the 13 versus the 12 versus the 11 versus the 9? In reality nothing. It's all incremental minor improvement right. that is over blown out of proportion exaggerated just because the people are hooked they are willing to pay another premium cost yeah. for the same phone in samsung you get a foldable device yeah. you got a device with an s pen you, you brought one man you have three phones on you man i have five six phones on me why do you need that many phones i don't need that many phones you told me to bring extra phones okay. It's a company property, but uh, I use them to, to test them and to train on them because I cannot deliver that uh, those you know hit, hidden tips and tricks uh -huh. except through usage. The only way I discover the phone is by using the phone. Before that, of huh? course, I told these brothers that you know don't be shy. So if you want anything, just tell them. Like I want caviar. 
tell them. We'll deliver. <laughs> it's another thing. <laughs> Keep that on the record. It's good to know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm, I, I have certain preferences and yeah. certain things that I dislike as any human being. Don't make me feel like I'm, I'm too finicky, even though I am. For example, I can't, I can't even look at eggs that are uh, the, the sunny side up or the one that is mushy with, with the liquid still. It tastes good. It's really Man, please, good. Don't, please stop. Don't, don't even t have the half one. Really? Is it, is it when a... you speak about taste, that means it made it to your mouth already. Please stop. <laughs> you guys want to eat that stuff? Let me ask I, you I have question. to lower my gaze and you have to eat it away from me. Do you have ADHD? But give me some of the symptoms. I'll tell you whether I have it or not. Hyper focus, well, like, how can they, how can they, what kind of question is this in the first place? And why are you, and let's assume whether I have ADHD, HD, well, I have HTTP. And what are you trying to prove? That justifies why your device, the battery doesn't work properly or, or why the uh, crux of the matter is. Let's assume hypothetically you have ADHD, PPC. Stop it. Get some help. In my opinion, I could be wrong. People that spend a lot of time assessing other people's personalities or they they attach themselves with with the scientific breakdown of of how people are for example they tell you this guy is narcissist the gaslighting they're stuck on analyzing other people's issues and finding names for them and symptoms and proving that this person is this type of person that type of person to, it's a waste of energy who cares? Let's say it is gaslighting, or it is a, a narcissist person, or whatever it is. It's life. It's a human being. Deal with it. Don't don't spend more than two seconds thinking about what this thing is. Not even these two seconds, because I'm I'm more about the result. So I have, for example, a relative of mine that is a narcissist. Instead of me, every time they do something, I say, "Ha! Huh? See, that proves this is narcissist characteristics." So who cares? Let me try to fix the issue with this person. Full already. Unless you're recording with this one. You don't need two phones right now, in my opinion. One phone is recording. You're gonna have multiple angles for the same footage. Yeah, you don't notice so, this. Well, yes, I notice this when we're playing basketball. basketball. Yeah. Now when you're recording a, a video where you're talking about ADHD before the last half an hour. I have another phone, but it's in the back, in the back, in the back. This one? I'm yeah. not using the, my personal, personal phone. Personal phone. You have so many phones, how am I supposed to know which one is the first one? I, or the one that looks like you? <laughs> <laughs> that literally looks like you dressed after it or it dressed after you. <laughs> how many children do you have, by the way? Last I checked, there were four. <laughs> Will I get a chance to meet Musab? Musab? Will I get a chance to meet you? Well, he's in Mecca right now, how can I bring him to Malaysia? Muad is the one who is itching to come. Muad is dying to come. And he's, he's 13, 14 years old. So I don't have time to babysit and bring you with me. I'm on campus. I, I, it's not, it's not, doesn't make sense. Obviously he would have fun, but I ditched him. Sorry, Muaz. <laughs> I sent him a video of the lounge. Yeah. And in the lounge they had a, a pool table. So I was playing a game of pool. Yeah. He said, see, I told you, if you brought me with me to Malaysia, I would have played pool with you right now and I'll beat you, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Typical Muaz stuff. Okay, so I know you're dying of hunger right now. I'm not dying of hunger. I, they gave us food just before we left. We're actually going to find a place that you can eat, inshallah. Why did you attribute dying of hunger to me when you're the one who's dying of hunger? Is that a McDonald's sticker on your... and a Burger King? Not my car. <laughs> I've never seen this in my life. I hope, I hope it's recording. I've never in my life seen a Burger King and a McDonald's drive through special VIP uh, sticker. I just drive the car. So your father's one who got this? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, humble. Apologies. I'm sorry to pick on your son. After all these years, you still don't know where you're going. Then what are you doing in Malaysia anyways? Are you supposed to be in Medina? Yes, I am. I was supposed to be in Medina, but because my, my mom, she got sick. Oh. She had a minor stroke. SubhanAllah. So I took a gap here. I was what was That's the... That's a valid point. Mashi. 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 They're stopping. You? You trying to test the brakes or something? <laughs> like, if let's say something happens where I cannot bring my family to Medina with me because of whatever is done. If you ask me. Yeah. You, you finish, and then you move on with your life. Leave my family for two years and a half. No, well, you, you're gonna be, you're able to come 
go back and forth whenever there's an opportunity, right? It's not you're gonna be ditching them completely. Course, Imam Bukhari or consider any of one of the Aima who used to travel Allah alam how long to, to to hear one hadith and he didn't leave his family behind, you think he brought them with him? They would leave him behind to go listen to one hadith he travel across the globe. If it's for seeking knowledge and you have an objective that you want to achieve and your family, there's, it's manageable. Of course, if it's not manageable, if they're going to be stranded, yeah. it's case closed. You have no outlet. But if there is an outlet, if she's uh, Malaysian, yeah. and this is Malaysia, and she has family over here, you're able to send money, and you know things are under control to some degree with some sacrifices here and there, yeah. Then yeah, finish your education, then knock yourself out over here. You go back to your country and you, you do you do you. At least you have your degree. Yeah. Not that now you've gone through all this and you worked hard to enter Medina University now that you're there, because of visa issues, you give up on the whole project and you know. Can you argue that it's back in the days, right? Abu Khalid, etc. They live in a different time where you know sure. they, they they went for Umrah and they you know, six months, nine months, they come back and you don't know what happens to your family. True. Now we are overly, we are, you know, we're overconnected, you know? True. So now we're actually dependent on this connectedness. I'm not, I, I don't deny that. I'm just, obviously you're not gonna make the sacrifices they made, but I'm trying to give you some, something you can relate to that. Well, it's, is, is it valid though? Is of course it valid? it's valid. I gave you that example, I mean, I believe it's valid. I gave you that example. I believe it's valid. Now you ask someone else, they may not see it's valid. That's that's obviously there's different 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 experiences, the different assessment of things, and then you're gonna get different opinions. That's normal because you're asking for someone's opinion, not asking about hukum shari. I'm not telling you this that's is a, right. Definitely. Right. Right. I, I I almost know the way. <laughs> so what are we gonna get you for food? Can you I don't say get you get get you food. If you sit down and eat, I'll sit down and eat with you. But I, in terms of food. Alhamdulillah, I'm good. You want to learn some Malayan? Yeah, I haven't nice. learned Filipino, Tagalog, which which <laughs> which I'm expected to learn. You want me to learn Malay? I like the irony is I love languages, but I've missed the train to like learn a new language. Why would I want to yeah. learn Malay right now? I come here once every uh, at this rate five years. For you, I'll learn a couple of words. So, El Had, give me one. Bole, bole means. Bole means ball. Any negation? You say ta bole. Tabule is a Lebanese salad. Not tabule, tabule. It has a hamza. Hey, tabule is the same thing. I'm gonna go tell my mom. You want one tabule? So what's the plan? You want to sleep? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
whose wife cooks the greatest food on planet Earth. Okay, <laughs> mashallah, tabarakallah, unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. And I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not crazy about food, but that food was from like another planet. So one time, uh, when we were invited to his house, we were all sitting on the couch, yeah. and then he started bringing in the food, one dish after the other, one dish after the other, and then the host yeah. said to both of us, "Tadalu," and he go down to the floor. So, jokingly, yeah. and I know he's joking, yeah. he said, no, don't, yeah. don't go down. Yeah. Basically, I want all this food for myself, yeah. and I wouldn't go down. Really? I, I paused, I said, I know you're joking. Yeah. I, said, I said, I can't. It just, it just, it hit, it hit that, that vein of sensitivity, I can't. Bro, they went crazy. I said, look, I'm not upset with you. Wallah, yeah. I'm not upset. I know you're joking. If I was upset with you, I would I would leave. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. now I'm not I would not sit down. And they ate the greatest food in the world in front of me for like an hour. Yeah. And I would not eat a single bite, nor would I go down and sit down with them. Nice. Because it because it hit that it caught me in that sensitive moment. Yeah. And once I, you catch me in that sensitive moment, there's no overcoming. Yes. That's very, yeah. Very <laughs> that make you feel bad for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Put that on the video. It's a very, it's a very interesting thing, though. It's a very interesting thing, and this happened. Yeah, for example. It, yes, it happened afterwards, yeah. and and by the way, we were cool. We were cool the whole yeah, time. Yeah. I, it, it happened in you the. Uh, you are like a maniac. I am a maniac. It happened at work. Uh -huh. um, usually, the the my my colleagues at work, they always have. Somebody orders like a, there's a place called Wahid Fool. I think it's an Egyptian spot. Yeah. So they always order these falafel sandwiches and egg sandwiches and full sandwiches. Yeah. They always invite me. I never go. One time, this this in recent times for an ulterior motive, I decided to join them in their breakfast. It's like 15 people eating. Yes. So and I, so they rarely ever see me there because they always tell me to come and I don't come. I was sitting over there trying to eat like everybody else. The first like the first guy came and said, "What's the?" What the heck are you doing here? Yeah. Right? Like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Not, not surprised to see. I was like, okay, yeah. strike one. Yeah. Second guy made a comment. Third guy said, what are you doing here? I got up and left. Yeah, he come back here. What is going on? I said, oh, thank you, Khalas. <laughs> is it bother you that much that I'm here? <laughs> I'm out. And then afterwards, everybody like, what happened? Yeah. I said, well, well, you know, I, was, yeah. I said, I know you're joking. I'm not upset with you. But Khalas, I'm not going to have three people tell me, what are you doing over here? I'm out. Well, it, is, it is called Wahid Fool, so they have to make a fool out of Wahid. <laughs> <laughs> that was understandable. It's kind of rude to say. No, but I know they're joking. Twice. It's not rude because I each mean, one. But look, okay. each one said it on his own. It's not like the guy, the third guy, knew that there was a first and second. Each one is trying to be funny in his yeah. own way. Like, what are you doing? Because usually yeah. don't come here. I don't blame them. But خلاص, you know, I felt it's if it, if it touches that <laughs> that, that sensitivity <laughs> thing, yeah. I I just I just hold back and I withdraw. I think it started with uh, when I was a kid. I think what triggered this kind of behavior yeah. when I was a kid, my mom once was, she went to the hospital, she had a surgery or something, and she just like disappeared yeah. for like three or four days. Uh -huh. And I didn't know what, like, I don't think anybody aligned with me or told me what happened. Yeah. All I know is that she was gone. That was hard. And then finally, yeah. they somehow my dad or somebody took me to the hospital, and then there was my mom. <laughs> She had, she had just undergone surgery and she went and she was calling me to come to her and I was I was so hurt that she you know I don't know like maybe six seven years old I was so hurt I wouldn't I wouldn't go to her I'm obviously hurt because I want to yeah. see her so bad yeah. but I've heard that she was gone and she didn't tell me what happened I think if this is what where it all started where this like sensitivity thing would like came in and do something like that trauma huh? something. maybe wallah I'm trying to you know understand this behavior but <laughs> I myself can the funny thing is Bro, okay. I'm fully aware of it listen, listen, I'm not in denial that's exactly how I feel about having something like ADHD is am I trying to justify everything it's just like no it made sense like maybe like you said you that happened when you were five or six years old it stuck with you and now this is I mean who you are right? true okay that's, and agreed yeah. so I'm not in denial yeah. Like I don't trip or right. I don't uh, pretend that I don't have an issue. Yeah. Okay, this is my issue. It's my test and one of my tests in this dunya and I have to deal, I have to cope with it. Pass. All of these people, yeah. all of these people are people that are beloved to me and nothing ever changed. Because I know very well that what they did was completely normal. Right. The issue is with me, that's what I'm saying. I'm not in denial. So when I have an issue, I deal with my own issue and I keep moving.
I, it's never been that I got upset with that person. Right. I just know that it, this was a sensitive moment. Uh -huh. My issue uh -huh. with the person, thumbs up. Habibi. I, re I remember hearing you say that in the, <laughs> in the vlogs previously. And I used to laugh at it because I always thought you were joking. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're too hungry, yeah, Sheikh. Pull over and get some food. This guy was sleeping like a like a koala bear like half an hour earlier, like this. For how long? For how long sleep? Like a step like a minute or so. Uh, maybe a minute, but when I looked, you looked like a man. There was a guy on the plane. There was a guy sitting next to me on the plane. I'm sitting in this row and he's sitting over there. Wallahi, I've never seen someone with maybe a heavier sleeper than him. Bro, he was so sleeping, wallahi, we thought he was dead. <laughs> the two, two flight attendants, males, and me, all of them look at him like this man died. Sitting there with his mouth open like this, and the guy's telling him, like, he, like first he's like, you know, because he's bringing him food, yeah. and he doesn't want him to miss on the food. So he started gentle first time, gentle second time, third time, then he started shaking him and hitting him, like, like go like this. The guy does not flinch, does not move, does not react. I'm like, subhanAllah, the guy died. He's a little kid, he's like 20 years old. He's dead. And then, like after, I don't know, 15 attempts, he's like, oh. and, and the guy was like, Ya Allah, the, the flight attendant, fucker too much. Fucker too much. I, I, I got to meet him at the end. And he said, man, I haven't slept in three days. I'm a heavy sleeper. I said, you're a heavy sleeper. He said, Wallah, one time my house burned down and I was sleeping and I never woke up. I said, I would not be surprised. Are you trying to be in the shade, Yanni? You are too close to the left. Oh As Abu Musab said, we have an immaculate driver, mashallah, tabarakallah. I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it in the first place to say it. I would be lying through my teeth. Why do you have to squeeze us next to a car? It is. This shows it is. you that, Echi, all these open spots over there, why would you park here? Because you want to be in the shade. This is the shade where the lady's leaving. Okay. Let her leave and park. Is that a handicapped? Yeah. Why well, you belong there? <laughs> <laughs>